Canopy Growth is one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, marijuana company. And they reported, and I'm not too sure what the stock is doing right now. It might be up. I'm not too sure. So let me see. They beat estimates. Um, so let me see. Canopy. Trying to bring it up. And we haven't talked about pot stocks in a long time. In a very long time. So it's up 10% today. It's like $8, or $8.50. So it's up 10%. So they say so they beat estimates, right? But the estimates mm. were, were lowered. I want to look at a year, Chuck. This thing was $56 and it's nine, right? So um, they reported, but they said, and forget about they beat the numbers, right? Those are the a- analyst estimates. But when you look like, you know, apples, apples, sales fell 8% year over year. I, I didn't understand that. I mean, they're blaming, you know, low supply, not being able to keep up with demand. But I don't, you know, I mean, the amount of companies that they acquired uh, is just insane to me, right? So I, I don't know, but it, it just surprised me. I, this is supposed to be a, a secular growing trend. More and more people maybe is, uh, are, you know, using marijuana, which I think is a good thing. It's much, much better if you're going to do out. Al- you drink alcohol or whatever. I think everyone is, especially in today's world, is angry and pissed, and that's going to relax you and make you happy, and that's cool. And I don't, whatever your advice is, whatever your advice is, I'm not going to judge ever, the last person to judge ever. Um, and maybe most people staying at home have much less time to smoke now that they're being, you know, they took away that little punch bowl, and now you got to go back to work, actually. But I was surprised at that. I don't know if you were surprised at that. And, I, and you know, I'm going to get into more analysis here, but I want to get your thoughts on that. I didn't honestly. I didn't. I saw the headline where they they missed and it reported another loss. Honestly, I haven't looked at this. I, I viewed. I haven't dug into this, so I want to hear your your data that you're about to share, uh, just to give everybody a little backroom baseball. You know, this is un, this is cool because I didn't know you were this had caught your eye that much until just a few minutes ago. Mm-hmm. We'll see if you can convince me here. I've always looked at these as trades, never an investment. I, I couldn't buy a other than IIPR, and I don't even know where that stock's trading, but that's a REIT. And they were doing a lot of roll ups and, mm-hmm. and doing. Uh, in fact, are you? Do you have something you can do? IIPR. Let's see if I can bring that Where's up. that uh, stock at? IIPR. Anyway, they they're a marijuana based company, but what they do is they do the land side and the growing rooms. And bas- I, I believe they're a REIT. I haven't looked at it in a good while. Yeah, it is a REIT. Innovative industrial property. Where's the yeah. share price? Is it still? Is it a couple hundred bucks or is it really uh, sold it's off? It's almost two hundred. It's a, it was high two eighty eight, low one sixty, and I could bring that up, guys. If you're wow, watching YouTube, we tape everything Please. on YouTube, so you know we're able to bring up charts and figures, and you know it is building up and more following. But we do everything is we do in videos. Not that you want to see my ugly face and Daniel's pretty face <laughs> all the time, but it is pretty cool because we're able to bring up charts and figures and, and just look at it and you know share some of the data and the research that we're using. But this thing really peaked really in. Late 2021, we're looking at. So not you know a few months ago when the market top. Yeah, that makes one sense. Of the ones yeah. that got I didn't realize it went that high, but I, I say all this and I'll let you let you go into the data here. But that that was the only one last time I kind of did a deep dive into that that I would buy and hold because these others are just so. Listen, I get the political side of it, raising money and things like that, and I believe that it will bring in some tax revenue and things. But you're not going to take over the market of quote unquote the black market or the. Uh, the how, what are they? What's their favorite word? They like to say, "I can't think of it other than black market." <laughs> um, anyway, you're, you're just not going to convince people that if you're into smoking or whatever, you're not going to go and and do that because it's it's being overlooked now. So that's the that's the big headwind, in my opinion, for that industry. But these are great tradable vehicles, especially around election time. Yes, around election time, and that's one of the things you said. Try to convince you, and I will try to convince you right now because they are they really are tradable, and it's almost like cyclical going into. You know, whenever more and more states are going to approve this. And when you look at the data, and because you heard me talk about marijuana stocks before, and I told you, you know, try to avoid them as much as you can. Again, some of them went high, but a lot of them have, have crashed completely. The reason is because the barriers of entry to this industry are zero. Anyone could, you know, create their own supply. They can grow their own supply. It's not difficult to do. So anyone who wants to do this could do this. It's not like you have big restrictions and only certain companies could do it. It's not like you can get into you know, wireless and studies suddenly start buying spectrum for, you know, like 5 billion, right? So uh, you can't do it, right? So there's a big advantage there. With, with, so that's why Canopy and a lot of these other companies, they're roll-ups. So they're buying all these smaller companies using their shares so that, you know, they're diluting their shares, but the market cap's going higher, which isn't good for, you know, shareholders. It's good for the insiders to get a seller company one day. So Canopy, uh, you know, sort of stock full. But I will say this. There's 18 states right now that approve marijuana for recreational use. Okay, and every time we kind of run into an election, whether it's you know midterms or whatever, uh, this is on a docket for a lot, docket for a lot of states. There's 25 states 
that are voting to make marijuana legal recreationally in 2022. This okay. year, 25 states. These things are really, really have come down tremendously. I think as a trade going in and buying them here, maybe you see a little bit of fluctuation to May, June, but that period from June leading up to don't wait till November because once the news is out, these things are probably going to come down. I think these things could really explode higher. And I haven't said that about them, but you just save 25% of those states. You know, say we get whatever, six, seven, 10, 12, who knows? All I know is every single state is in a ton of trouble. They need to find ways to generate money. That's why you're seeing you know, Miami, New York City using crypto. We talked about that crypto intelligence newsletter of how to play that. Uh, you're going to see more companies. It just... You know, approving gambling. I mean, NFL and those guys, they used to be against gambling all the time. Now they're promoting it every place. It's all over every stadium because they can make money off of it. States need to make money. Uh, this is an easy way to do it. This is something that everybody who's going to do it is going to do it anyway. You get marijuana in five minutes from wherever you live. If you know, it's not that difficult. Just go to any bar and you can get it within 10, 15 minutes. We all know that. Why wouldn't you just, if you're a state, you need the money, why not regulate it? At least you know that you're guaranteed to get really, really good stuff. <laughs> it might be a little more expensive and they'll tax it. But I, I think it's a good opportunity for these names. I was just surprised to see Canopy sales fell 8% year over year and they did play, blame that we didn't have enough you know, supply? I don't know about that. I was just weird. I just thought this was a massive secular trend and more and more people smoking. But now with these states and approvals and stuff like that, that's going to be a pretty big deal. And I think you can see a lot of these names, you're going to see positive news for these guys and they've got their head handed to them, right? I mean, these things have gotten murdered. Yeah. Most of them are trading closer to 52 week lows mm -hmm. than even the midpoint between 52 week lows and 52 week highs. So yeah, when, Hey, this is the time you want to buy for a tradable event. You got yourself a few months before the really uh, headlines start talking about the midterms, because they're not till, you, that's what you meant, right? In November, that's yeah. when these 25 states. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the market's forward looking. You get, you're get you going to get some positive headlines. I, I do like that. I like that as a trade, though. I still wouldn't buy and hold any of those just yet, unless your outlook is like 100 years, and then you can never be wrong. One of those. <laughs> yeah, one of those, one of those. But uh, I <laughs> want to just see something, because I'm net loss now before I go here. Let me just see. I'm just looking at this. So uh, net revenue decline 8%. Uh, so just global cannabis, just for cannabis net revenue decreased 20%. So they made it up on vapes and other businesses and edibles and stuff like that. Um, and now they're selling what? Martha Stewart CBD. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> yeah. That's the best thing that ever happened to show it to jail. And then I think everyone, I think it brought it down to, to everyone's level. Like, Hey, this person's real. <laughs> she's really cool. She makes mistakes. And now she's like more famous than ever. And she's fun. She's just uh, hilarious. Even on all, all the roasts and stuff like that. So the net loss of the net loss was only 115 million dollars Canadian compared to 829 million uh in Q3 for 2021. So that that's that wow that's big. So you're seeing that at least it they're becoming more profitable finding ways. So you know that's a good thing for this industry. It's not just like we're rolling up, we're going to report losses, sales are going to go higher because we're rolling up and just buying buying companies. Now you're seeing it translate into earnings which is a really good deal.